Hey guys! Alright, so this is a knife, and this is my kitchen, if you can see a little bit of it. Let me tell you a couple things about where I am in my life right now. I've got a test in five hours that I'm not prepared for, just went running, I'm all sweaty, don't have time to take a shower before the test because I need to study for the test because I'm not prepared for it, and I panicked about this video. Also, I haven't eaten lunch. So I'm going to teach y'all today my talent of how to spice up a bowl of ramen. All right, here are some things you're gonna need. A package of chicken ramen, garlic powder salt stuff, regular pepper, Tony's Creole seasoning. This is optional. I actually just discovered this and it's amazing. And a bell pepper, a green bell pepper. I use green, you could probably use whatever. And then obviously like water and a microwave or a stove. I'm gonna make mine on the stove, but I'm sure you could also do this in the microwave. All right, so I changed frames. I got my water boiling right here. I have no specific amount of water. I just fill it up to completely submerge the noodles because I don't do the soup really. I normally just do the noodles. And yeah, I have my green peppers chopped up right here and we will get back to the cooking as soon as the water boils. All right, so when you got your water boiling, we're gonna open the pack of ramen take the flavor packet out and set it aside because we're going to use it. And then you can crush up your noodles, but I'm a long noodle person. I like my long noodles, so I'm just going to put the entire block in the water. And I'm going to kind of poke it with a fork every now and then, make sure it gets totally submerged. We're also going to put some, a couple of the chopped peppers in like that. Just a couple, just so they can start seeping into the flavor of like the waters and the noodles and stuff. And then in about three minutes, three or four minutes, we're gonna drain it. Most of the water, uh, I leave a little bit, so, cause I like to, we're gonna put it back on to simmer in a second, so I like to have a little bit of liquid left for it to simmer in, so, yeah. All right, so we're gonna turn the burner off, pick up the pot, be careful not to burn yourself, and I'm just using my fork. I know it's normally easier if you use a lid, but I don't know where mine is. So we're just gonna drain most of it. Um, just keep draining. And I just have a little bit of liquid left at the bottom, probably like maybe half an inch left of water at the bottom. And I put it back on the burner. All right, now it's back on the burner and we're gonna throw in more of the peppers and turn the burner back on. That's important, but turn it on like medium, low, medium, something like that. And that's where all the seasonings come in. And here's the thing, I do it mostly to t or like to smell or what I think will taste good, so there's no specific measurements. Just experiment with your food. There's nothing bad about that. We're putting in the chicken seasoning, um, and we're gonna stir it up. Now we're gonna do the garlic salt powder. It's powder, okay, the garlic powder. Put it in, and stir it up. Um, the Creole seasoning, which I have to open because it's brand new. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. And that's actually kind of spicy, so if you're not into spicy stuff, then I would either go light on that or maybe completely disregard it. Now regular pepper, also just to taste. It's important that you have it on the stove when you're doing this, or maybe do it and then put it in the microwave. That way the noodles can really absorb the flavor and whatnot. And then leave it on for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute, and then take it off, and I will show you what it looks like. And then that's your finished product, and it smells delicious. 